Hey Carty, hey Ronnie. So as the three of us want to study sliding mount control, I was thinking uh, it was nice to do a simple example uh, just to see uh, how it works and uh, what is it exactly, what's the effect of the controller. So what we do is we consider the following one dimensional system where you have uh, x1 dot equal x2 and x2 dot equals u plus f where f is a disturbance function. At first we consider that uh, there's no disturbance, so f equals zero, and our aim is to design u to make sure that both states converge to zero. A simple one is minus k1 x1 minus k2 x2, where k1 and k2 are positive, and in Simulink it's how it looks. As we see the response of both states is zero, so that's, that's good, that's what we want. However, when we put disturbances like sine 2t, this controller doesn't work anymore. So what to do? Of course, we have to change u and we will define a sliding variable, which will be s equals cx1 plus x1 dot. s is our sliding variable, and we will state that s should be equal to zero at the beginning, which means that we have to solve x1 dot equals minus cx1. If we plot this on a graph, it's just a simple line, right? I choose c equals 1.5 as an example. If a point is at the coordinate 1 minus 2, which time it goes to this uh, line and slide along to reach the origin. That's what's sliding. Hence the solution is x1, uh, 0 exponential minus ct. So if we take the derivative of s, uh, we have s dot, and in s dot we have u, so we can design u. The only stuff we know about f is the bound. So it's uh, below um, uh, capital L. So u will be equal to minus cx2 minus kappa. And our aim now is to design kappa. In most of the time, they choose rho sine of s as uh, kappa, where rho is bigger than L. It's important. Basically, kappa is just plus or minus rho all the time. This is represent the discontinuity of the controller. Our controller is then u minus x2 minus rho sine s. And as we can see, the control u uh, chatters a lot between minus 1.5 and 1.5. And our sliding variable reaches zero in very, very short time. Thus, it means our system is stable. Uh, Let's plot the face portrait and uh, the, the response of uh, our two states to see if we're correct. So on the face portrait, as we see, uh, it starts where you have the at the point one, 1 minus 2, and it's a 0. And you can see the point reach the, the line, which would be equals to x2 equals uh, minus cx1. And our both state is now uh, stabilized. It was just a simple example. I didn't go into detail uh, on in uh, why they choose this controller and how to design the sliding surface and why it's a uh, minus rho sine of s as a choice. However, I just wanted to show you the result of some uh, simulation.